It'll do it. Okay, you I'm ready. When you're ready. I'm ready. Starting with our coolant reservoir right here. It's mounted tight and secure. As you can see, it's filled to the proper level of coolant. The cap's on top. There's no leaks anywhere coming from our coolant reservoir. From our coolant reservoir, we have uh, uh, radiator hoses and other cooling lines. You want to check the condition of your hoses uh, for any kind of damage or defects or bulges. There's no loose or missing clamps on any of our radiator hoses or cooling lines, so all those are in good condition. On this truck, the water pump is right here. It is belt driven on this truck. It is mounted tight and secure. The uh, water pump belt is not worn or frayed and it does not have excessive play. Okay, ready? All right. Alternator is mounted right here. It is tight and secure. The alternator on this truck is belt driven. Uh, the alternator belt is not worn or frayed. Uh, no excessive play, so it is in good condition. Right here is where you check your oil. You just check to make sure it's filled to the proper level. Uh, right here is your power steering fluid reservoir. Same thing, you just check to make sure it's filled to the proper level. Uh, and there's no leaks coming from anywhere from it, so it's in good condition. On this truck, on the back of the engine, it's hard to see, it's where the air compressor is mounted. It is mounted tight and secure. Uh, it is in good condition, and on this truck, it is gear driven. Also back there with that is the power steering pump. It is mounted tight and secure. It is also uh, gear driven uh, on this truck, uh, and it is in good condition. We have our power steering hoses that run from the pump to the steering box right here. Uh, they are not rubbed, frayed, or damaged. We don't have any loose clamps, and there's no leaks coming from any of our hoses, so they are in good condition. Your steering box is mounted right here. The mounting hardware is tied and secure to the frame. Uh, there's no damage or defects to our steering box anywhere. It is in good condition. Your pitman arm and your drag link, it is mounted tied and secure. We have these castle nuts that are tied and secure with these cotter pins in place, securing those uh, castle nuts. Our suspension, we got our spring hangers, front and rear. They are mounted tight and secure to the frame. We don't have any loose, missing, or damaged hardware. Uh, no any other visible signs of damage or defects to our spring hangers, so they are in good condition. Our leaf springs right here, we're looking for any kind of cracks or broken leaf springs. They're not shifted out of place. Our leaf springs are in good condition. Our U-bolts right there, we have two U-bolts. They are tight and secure. Uh, there's no visible signs of damage or defects. They're not shifted out of position. Our U-bolts are in good condition. We have our shock mount and our shock. Our shock mounts are tight and secure. No loose, missing, or damaged hardware. And the shock absorber itself, there's no leaks, no visible signs of damage or defects. It's in good condition. Starting with our brakes, you have your airlines right here. Uh, on the airlines, you're looking for any kind of rubbed uh, areas or damaged or frays. Uh, any kind of defects that's out of the uh, norm wear for an air hose. Uh, no leaks, air lines are in good condition. This right here is a brake chamber. It is mounted tight and secure to the mount. There's no visible signs of any kind of damage or defects to the brake chamber. It's in good working order, good condition. You have a push rod right here and a slack adjuster. Uh, they are mounted tight and secure. The pin is in place that connects these two components together. And it also has a safety pin. It is in place and secure. So our push rod and our slack adjuster are in good condition. Okay. Right. Uh, inside is where your brake shoes are. Our brake shoes are clean. They're in good condition. Uh, they are not worn down below the service limit. Uh, there's no oily residue on the brakes. So they are in good condition. The brake drum, brake drum is mounted tight and secure. There's no visible signs of uh, cracks or overheating uh, also again there's no oily residue on the inside of the brake drum uh, if you had an oily residue that would indicate a, a faulty inner hub seal so our brake shoes and brake drum are in good condition the rim uh, we're going to inspect our rim for any kind of road damage uh, or defects any kind of illegal welds or repairs we don't see any defects or any kind of welds or repairs our rim is in good condition the steer tire, we're looking for any kind of cuts, gouges, or bulges, uh, any kind of damage or defects to our steer tire. Minimum tread depth of 430 seconds on a steer. Also want to check for the inflation, at least 100 PSI, we have that, so our steer tire is in good condition. Our lug nuts, looking at all the lug nuts, you want to inspect those to make sure they're all tied and secure. 
no cracks, no damage uh, or defects to the lug nuts or the hardware. They are in good condition. Our steer axle hub, you would just check to make sure it's filled to the proper level of oil and grease uh, and that there's no leaks coming from it. It is filled to the proper level and it does not have any leaks, so it's